When you think about all the things there are to drink in Europe, it's really an embarrassment of riches. On one of the world's smaller continents, you have an incredibly high concentration of people who've been making some of the world's best libations for thousands of years, from Scotch to Sangiovese. But there's a new player in the field these days, and it's coming from an unexpected place. Hi, I'm Kiwi Callahan for Alcohol Professor News. I'm in Copenhagen today to find out about their smallest, most innovative distillery. While in Copenhagen last week, I got to visit Copenhagen Distillery, run by master distiller Henrik Brinks. Working out of a historic building dating back to the 1700s, Brinks has used this one-room distillery to establish himself as a leader in the Scandinavian spirit scene. He's done so by creating all of his products with the same philosophy. I had this idea that, that, that everything we do, everything we, we would like to accomplish in, uh, in Copenhagen Distillery should be based upon simplicity. And it is uh, from the look of the, of the distillery, from how the distillation apparatus is made, but also of how does the bottle look and especially how does the content of the bottle taste. Copenhagen Distillery's flagship spirit is their dry gin, which is, according to Henrik, the world's first honey-based gin. It is uh, a single botanical spirit. It is a single uh, estate uh, spirit, so it is only distilled here in the distillery. It is made by only uh, four ingredients. It is water, it is yeast, it is honey and juniper. So it cannot be more simple than that. I got the idea on a travel uh, abroad where I tasted this uh, heated meat uh, and that was the, um, actually the, the answer of all my, my questions when it came to what kind of base spirit should I use because when making a single botanical spirit you need something extra because otherwise it would be too one-dimensional and it would be too harsh in the juniper flavors if you didn't have any other uh, tastes or aromas in the palate. But just because Henrik's products are simple, don't make the mistake of thinking they're boring. The whole idea of making this distillery is actually because I wanted to make the most extreme, outrageously crazy single malt whiskey. And that is, at the moment, uh, maturing in the casks. I am expecting it to be uh, to be uh, launched around summertime next year, so 2017. And that will be my baby. I mean, that is, that is really my, my dearest baby. Besides the dry gin, it is, uh, I would say, the long pepper snaps. And that is the first spirit in the world uh, solely made on distilled long pepper. It hasn't been done before, and it is very, very different. And that is something I really like. He's also producing a Mexican coffee liqueur, which is made using coffee beans from a single estate in Mexico, an orange gin, and an aquavit. In the short time that Henrik has been producing, he's been able to develop exclusive partnerships with some of Copenhagen's best restaurants, including Restaurant Palagade, serving Oat Smorebrod, the legendary Danish specialty, and Fiskbar, currently helmed by world-renowned chef Jamie Lee, whose elegant dishes are perfectly matched by an exquisite cocktail and wine program created by bar manager Mez Scheck, head sommelier Hai Grunberg, and general manager Fry Hellstrand. And while he's only been in production for 15 months, he's been working to make Copenhagen Distillery a reality for much longer than that. I have a law degree from the Copenhagen University, so um, I just got fed up with uh, working with uh, boring office uh, stuff like that. And um, I've been dreaming about having my own distillery since I ever saw my first distillery, and that was in 1991 in Scotland. It was the distillery of Kleinlich. I mean, the first, it was love at first sight. Copenhagen has long been known for its beautiful canals, its socially conscious citizens who ride their bikes everywhere, and its fine dining restaurants. But spirits connoisseurs take note. Upstarts like Copenhagen Distillery are poised to take this Nordic gem to the top of the world's craft spirits scene as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Kiwi Callahan for Alcohol Professor News, keeping you up to date on all the bibulous buzz.